Hello, this is Lisa Say, and these instructions will help you learn how to add the reference to an image into any article you write for a website that uses HTML. So I have an orange timer running in the center of the screen, and you'll be able to see the first time through how quick and easy it is, and then I'll explain step by step what the different pieces are that we're doing here. So we will get started with the orange timer. So the FTT program I am connecting to my server. This is a low carb article I'm loading up. I'm going to click on the image, tell it to upload. The image uploads. Now I'm going to go to my template that I use for the image code, cut it from the template spot, paste it into the spot in the article, and customize it to have the name of the file I just loaded up, and even customize the alt tag for it. And that's all you have to do. It took less than 30 seconds. It actually took 28 seconds. So it's extremely quick, extremely easy, and all you need is FTP software, which you can get for free, and a copy of Word or a Word equivalent, which you can also get for free. So let's talk about what the steps are here. The window in the top right is the FTP software. This is software that moves the image from your hard drive to the other hard drive. So you can see I'm scrolling through all the images on my hard drive. These are all different images that go with my low carb site. And then the top part, it shows all of the different images that are up on the server. So they match. You should always keep a copy of every image on your local hard drive and then load it up to the server. So that's the lower window and the top window. And different FTP softwares work differently. But that's the gist of how all of them work. You're moving images from your hard drive out to a web server so that people on the web can see it. Because the people on the web can't see your hard drive, luckily. So that is the FTP side of things, which is moving the image from your hard drive to the main server. The two windows over on the left are the two copies of the Word documents that I'm using here. So we've got the top one, which is the actual article I've written, and then the bottom one, which is the template that shows my raw image code. So you should always have copies of both of these on your hard drive. You should always write all articles on your hard drive. And the bottom one being the image template code, this has an img space src command, which is the command to show an image, and then the rest of it is the location of that file. Since you've got a directory on the web that you're putting all these images, most of that's always going to be the same. So the only thing you ever have to change is the actual name of the image in question. And then you put it up into the article, and when you put it into the article, you always want to put it after the first paragraph so that the user sees the first paragraph and then starts seeing an image. And the image always should go on the right hand side so that it doesn't roadblock the user's eyeballs as they're reading. It should complement the article but not interrupt the reader while they're trying to read the article. And I put an H space equals five which gives it a little bit of a border, a five pixel border of white space. So that way the text doesn't run right up against the side of the image. So that's all that's really involved in doing this. Your article, you should always write all articles on your hard drive, so you always have a backup copy no matter else what happens. And you should always spell check them and proof them and everything when they're on your hard drive and then only paste the final version into the main server. And this is also great for moving servers because you can just re-FTP up all your articles to the new server if you need to and all the image code is still in there and it all works properly. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Thank you very much and have a lovely day.